An advocate of culture over colour, Adama, based between Senegal and France, is an unrelenting champion of Africa on the world stage. Not only is she the founder of Dakar Fashion Week and the Federation of African Fashion, these days she's also the brains behind Black Fashion Experience here in Paris, formerly known as Black Fashion Week. For this powerhouse, it's all about celebrating black design in all its diversity. We use fashion as a way to bring people into this experience. We really want to share it with them. It's fashion, but seen in a different way. It's fun and theatrical. There's a real confidence there. None of the designers that you see here are just following trends, and that's what I love. Do you think there's such a thing as black fashion? No, I don't think so, at least not put like that. I think that there is such a thing as fashion that's being informed by black culture. That's our slogan. This isn't about color, it's about culture. And that's an evolution. I'm not looking for validation anymore. I think that we need to stand on our own two feet, to do this for ourselves. If you like it, get on board. <laughs> Among the designers taking part, Mimi Plange. She was born in Ghana, but moved to California with her family when she was five years old. She studied architecture at the prestigious University of Berkeley before making her way to New York. After a number of internships, she founded her own label. She's extremely clear about the differences she sees between American and African fashion. Everything is about um, you know, the ease of the wear. Everything is about, um, you know, being able to simply put your clothes on and be comfortable. And I think in Africa, there's like this um, kind of tradition of couture that's always been like, you know, a seamstress coming and making you something very special, it's very individual. And, um, and I think that, you know, in the United States, like there's a lot of people wanting, there's brands, so people are wearing a lot of the same thing. So it's a little bit different in how you approach your style. The inspiration behind this collection, Lost Souls. My inspirations are definitely rooted in um, what Africans look like before um, colonization. A lot of the things that I'm inspired by is, is body art, it's body adornment, it's scarifications, it's what people did to their actual bodies. Um, it's the markings that they placed on their bodies. And what I'm doing is translating them into what if we kept some of those traditions, what would they look like in clothing that's very modern and of today. And so um, it's always a constant you know, it's, it's a bit of telling my story. I mean, I live in America, it's a melting pot. You know, I was born in Ghana. So everything for me is always going to be mixed together. So I'm just like mixing different cultures. And, you know, that's, that's how I approach design. Stylist Sakia Lek's career also spans both continents. In the U.S., she lives in Dallas, Texas, while in Africa, she's still based in her home city of Brazzaville in Congo. For Lek, fashion provides a platform for advocating change. We're designers. We love clothes. We want to dress people. We want to tell them what they'll be wearing next year. But we also want to tell them how they can help to improve the environment, how they can join the fight against global warming. I've actually been working with a material that really fits with those aims. It's called raffia. It's a big part of Congolese culture, and it's not so well known here. It's biodegradable. The colors are all natural, and that's my message for the future. We need need to go back to nature. Clothes that are good for the body, but also for nature. Nigerian designer Tokyo James usually presents his menswear collection in London, where he spends half his time. For the rest of it, he's in Lagos. He only rarely makes a trip to Paris. The best in London is the organization and it's like any thriving metropolis in the world. The worst is the people, they're very depressed. The worst for Lagos is the disorganization, but the, the best about Lagos is the people. Tokyo James collections are comprised of seemingly contrasting elements. Leather and silk make an appearance together, so too do leather and knitwear. It's a careful balancing act between solidity and whimsy. When I design, my mind goes to the alpha male. Um, the alpha male could be straight, gay, black, white, Chinese, whichever. I think it's a universal trait in what manhood is. Wherever you are in the world, every society has an alpha male. 
um, the leader of the pack, but is also soft and also compassionate. He understands because to be a leader, you must understand, you must have first of all followed, but you must understand your environment and your people in order to garner them to follow you. That man is very busy because he has so many people that he has to lead. Does he have time to worry about what he looks like? So that's what I'm here for. Last but certainly not least, a captivating collection from the event's multi-talented organiser, Adama. Ahead of her grand entrance on horseback in a slinky black dress, one model is understandably a little anxious. But that's the message here in a nutshell. The idea that perseverance and imagination, combined with some courage, can lead to extraordinary things.